Hi, my name is James Crowder, aka Replays. I'm on the Nile. Talk a little about how you got involved in esports. Um, when I was younger, I used to play baseball, and I ended up getting hurt when I was about 14 years old. And I started playing Xbox a lot more, and then I found GameBattles.com, and then that's how I started getting into all of it. What have you found from playing real sports that translates over to playing esports? Um, I mean, the competitive edge that you have when you play a real sport, and then it's the same thing in esports. No matter what, if you're playing a video game, or if you're doing physical activity, it's all the same thing, the competitive edge right there. What about the team-based aspect of Call of Duty and how that translates to a sport? Um, I mean, Call of Duty is all about teamwork. That's why my team's actually really good. And I mean, in every sport, teamwork obviously helps you out. So I mean, that probably translates the most. What do you feel differentiates being good at Call of Duty and being a professional Call of Duty player? Um, I mean, it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of hours put in, a lot of practice with your team. But I think being smart and being positive and just being a good teammate is the biggest thing. What advice would you give to someone who wants to enter esports at this point? Um, I mean, it's going to take a lot of work, but if you're dedicated, positive about it, and you want to do it, you can do it. How have you seen the competition evolve over the last five years when it comes to the college championship? Um, the last five years, it just continues to get bigger and the competition just continues to grow. I mean, there's so many more good teams now than there were three years ago or four years ago. And given, given that competition level, what does it say about you guys that you were able to go undefeated? Um, I mean, we just happened to have the best event of our life so far this weekend and we just played with fire this entire event and it just worked out for us. How have you seen parity kind of evolve when it comes to the COD Championship this year? I mean, it's definitely uh, complex. I mean, there was a lot going on, uh, a lot of different play styles you have to adapt to. And I mean, we watched a lot of VODs, like watching them play and making sure when they're playing their matches, we were watching them so we can learn, so yeah. What does it mean for you guys to walk away with that trophy? I mean, I've been playing for about eight years professionally, seven years professionally on and off, and this has been my dream my whole entire life, and I finally made it real. Have you guys thought about what happens now that you have that money, what you'd like to buy? I mean, I can, I still barely even believe that we won this championship. This could all be a dream, but I mean, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. When it comes to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, what impact has the Exos had in the gameplay that we've seen here at the championship this year? I personally love them. I think the exosuits are really, really good for Call of Duty. I think it makes it very fast-paced and interesting to watch, and a lot of crazy plays happen, and especially in Search and Destroy, when clutches happen, you can dash and do all these crazy moves to help out, so I think it's uh, impacted Call of Duty in a positive way. What impact to having a new game every year? Even though it's essentially Call of Duty, you guys have to learn new things every year versus a Dota 2 or a League of Legends player. Um, I mean, every year we get a new Call of Duty, and it's really not that much different. The movement's all kind of the same. I mean, this Call of Duty with the exosuits was definitely a lot different, but I mean, we just had to adapt, and most of the pro players, if you're a pro player in one Call of Duty, you're usually a pro player in the next Call of Duty. It kind of just keeps consistent. What would you like to see in the next Call of Duty when it comes to esports? Um, I really don't know. I mean, exosuits are my biggest thing right now. I think this, that makes Call of Duty really good.